hi guys uh, welcome back to my channel my name is Eno so today's video is going to be about adding a new user on a Ubuntu machine and also giving the new user admin permissions uh, to do stuff like adding software and other uh, tasks that are normally not available to a regular user so we'll go ahead and uh, add a new user here the command to add a new user is uh, add user the name of the user is going to be Joe. So press enter. As you can see here, you need root permissions in order to add a new user. So we'll try using the sudo command here that gives us the option to do privileged tasks. And then we'll repeat the same command, add user Joe. Then it's going to ask for the password, our password. And as you can see here, the new user was added, adding user Joe, adding new group Joe, which is the primary or the default uh, group. Give uh, Joe a password here. We'll retype the password. And then you can skip this. You can just press enter to skip all this. So if you want to add those, that information, you can add it. Then press Y for yes. Then we should have the, the new user added. Now, the new user is now going to have admin permissions. What we can do is we can add those permissions by adding the user to the um, sudo group and in order for you to check what group a user is a member of you can use the groups command that will be groups uh, and then the name of the user here joe right now joe is just a member of the joe group which is the primary or default group which is the group that all files that are created by the user joe are going to be put in now another command to check the groups is id joe this gives us the user ID of the user, the group ID and the name. And then the groups, right now it's only one group. We'll go ahead and add uh, the user to the pseudo group here. And in order to do that, the command we'll use is user mode. So this is the command here, user mode. You can check what options are available to us. We have a bunch of uh, options here scroll back up and then the com the uh, options we'll be using are these ones here groups and then a g for uh, uppercase g for groups and then a for append this is adding a user to a supplementary group or secondary group and uh, appending the user to the, to the group as well now we'll go ahead and use that command user mode and then we'll say options a and uppercase g then the group is going to be sudo, and then the name of the, the user. Now, again, we will try to use sudo here, and that worked. Now, we'll repeat the command to check what groups that uh, the user Joe is a member of. And as you can see here, use a new group has been added, which is called sudo. And that should give the user Joe some admin privileges. Now what we can do is to actually check if a user has those admin privileges or permissions. There is a command to check that, and that command is uh, sudo uami. So the current user is user. We can say sudo uami, and it says root. If, if the user wasn't a member of the sudo group, it will give you a, a message saying that the user is not, not in the sudo as file. Now we can try to switch to the user Joe using switch, uh, su for switch user is going to ask for the password. Now, if you look at the, at the, at the prompt here, you see it's saying Joe. Initially, we were logged in as user. Now it's just changed to Joe. Then we can do a print working directory. Actually, let's do CD because it were in this folder, we can change to Joe's uh, home folder. And then, and as you can see, we are in Joe's home folder. And you can do sudo who am I uh, password. And it says root as well. Okay, so that's how to add a user on a Ubuntu Linux machine using the, the terminal. If you wanted to delete the user, the command will be DL user. We can see our options. So you have options to 
remove user and then also remove the the users or home directory so this is for removing a, a normal user from the system an example is here is Dell user mic deletes the user mic and then there is also uh, other options you can use with that command so that's it for this video i hope this video has been useful i'll see you in my next video thanks bye